and dying to the zone or campers at the end of a DMZ match is never fun. To help you avoid that outcome in your matches, today I'm going to show you how to exfil safely from your DMZ games. First, for anyone who doesn't know, the basic method to successfully escape requires you to go to one of the blue icons on the map, showing a little dude going through a door. Once you're in the area of that marker, you should see a green plume of smoke. If you approach it and press the interact button, a flare will get shot into the sky, and about 30 seconds later, a helicopter will arrive for you and your squad to ride out of the game. It's important to note that other players can see this flare from a long distance away, so you have to remain alert while you wait for the helicopter. And if you're approaching an exfil zone and see a flare, you can safely say that means someone is using it. From there, you can choose to either fight the squad that called in the helicopter, or you can wait for them to finish their exfil and call in your own helicopter when the green smoke shows up a couple seconds after the first chopper leaves. If you don't want to risk running into people using the exfil zones or worse, camping them, there is another way to leave the game. If you look on the map for a contract icon with a pair of handcuffs, that is a secure hostage contract. In order to complete the contract, you are required to free a hostage from an enemy stronghold and carry them to a helicopter that will bring the hostage and your squad out of the DMZ zone. The benefits of doing things this way are that the helicopter is not marked on the map for other squads, and the chopper does not send out a flare when it arrives. This makes hostage contracts the safest way to exfil from DMZ by far. If you're in an awkward position on the map and you can't reach an exfil zone or hostage contract while the radiation is coming in, you're not out of options yet. Once the last normal exfil location gets overtaken by radiation, the location of the final exfil will appear somewhere on the opposite side of the map from where the radiation started. After a small delay, a helicopter will appear at the new location and wait until the zone overtakes it before flying off. It's a good option as a last resort, but it is risky to use because everyone on the map will be trying to get there and the helicopter will not leave early for any reason, no matter how many squads approach it. This means that there is a very real chance for a fight if there is anyone else in the lobby with you at that point in the game. Whether you use a normal hostage or a final exfil in any given match is entirely dependent on your situation from game to game, but I hope this guide helped to give you a better idea of your options. If you want to see more FPS guides, streams, and clips from me, then make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons, and thank you for watching. 